A St. Louis company created one of the hottest new tech toys in recent years, getting national attention for being among the best at Toy Fair 2015 in New York. Bloxels allows the user to create their own video games. Not only is it a hit with kids, educators are now using Bloxels in the classroom. With paper and colorful markers, Gretchen Schuster is using the Bloxels brainstorming kit this is where the storytelling magic begins. My character is going to be a rainbow, and then the enemy is going to be a raindrop, and it's going to be raining, and you have to try to dodge um, the raindrops. Then, using colored blocks, Bloxel's game board sets the stage for technology to bring the students' creations into the online world of video games using the game's app. The ugly sweater puppy came to life. He's blinking his eyes on my nose, too. He's like a little robot dude. You have to go through five enemies. You can collect all the coins. I wanted to be a video game designer before, so like this lets me express like what I would like to make. This is the age when Bloxel's creators, Robin Rath and Josh Stevens, were introduced to video games. As childhood friends, they talked about how they wanted to make their own. As a kid, video games were becoming more prolific in the home, so it was transitioning from the arcade into the home through systems like Atari and Nintendo. And in addition to playing these games, we started to get the idea of wanting to make those games. As adults, they made video game creation for children of all ages a reality. The student takes colored blocks, eight different colors, and each of those blocks has a meaning. Once they've assembled them on the game board, they're actually using the camera on their tablet or their phone to take a picture of what they've built. And our technology recognizes the colors using optical character recognition to recognize what those shapes and colors are and ultimately turns that into data that's imported into our video game creation engine. Which allows them to build and play the games using the Bloxels Builder app. Rath is now the CEO of Pixel Press. Here he is at Toy Fair New York 2015, making Bloxels known to the world as it's ranked among the fair's best. Soon it would be on store shelves of major retailers. Based in St. Louis, co-founder Josh Stevens introduced Bloxels through partnerships with schools and the St. Louis Science Center. One of my favorite parts about Bloxels is it is open-ended. Whatever story you want to tell, you can tell. And when you get in a room full of kids today, a week from now, a month from now, every kid has a different story to tell. So we wanted to give them a spatial or sometimes called kinesthetic way to uh, create this content and ultimately bring it to life. With continued success, teachers became big supporters. We had a good bunch of ambassador teachers that saw the power of the tool right away. Bloxels is finding its way into schools as Pixel Press creates Bloxels EDU, offering building blocks for curriculum through its education initiative. Bloxels EDU is actually all encompassing of the tools for the students and then also the EDU hub, which is the component for the teachers. So they could pull down a lesson about ancient Egypt or maybe about space or maybe about the journey of the cell. The curriculum that goes behind that, the training materials, and also the software platform. So how do they manage student accounts and also to actually grade the process. This one is a book report students created about Anne Frank. And as we progress, you'll see when I uh, navigate to the story block and hit the talk button, um, you'll see it actually uh, incorporates information about Anne Frank. Students' work can be shared on a Bloxel's EDU classroom wall or a public wall. Try to create situations where they're working together, collaborating, problem solving together because that's, those are great 21st century skills that kids need to have. Innovation teacher Lara Stegman encourages collaboration. This group is creating a game about the life cycle of a butterfly, a lesson from their science class. So the eggs are going to hatch, and then they're going to go through the level, and when they beat the level, they're going to turn out to be a butterfly. Educators here are convinced Bloxel's EDU can help student achievement. Maddox Crow is convinced it can help him achieve his long-term goals. I want to be a video game designer, but if that fails, I've always kind of desired to be a college professor. For Innovations, I'm Kathleen Berger.